Hi, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we're just going to take apart an NEC Versa P9110. And the other number here is 2105DR. Now, as I said, this is NEC Versa. And before we start, I'd just like to, um, word of warning, I suppose, um, proceed with these steps at your own risk. Um, any damage you do to your own machine is not our responsibility. Also make sure you take any static precautions. I'll just put on my wrist strap. And if anything's different to what you see here as on your laptop, please see a professional. Now the first thing we have to do is make sure it's unplugged from the power. And that is up here. Here, just make sure the power's disconnected. And then remove the battery, which is here. To remove the battery, we've got an unlock thing. So just slide that up and then that across. And the battery itself will slide out. There's the battery. This battery is a BTY L71. Now, then we want to do is the hard drive, I believe, is in there, and then probably the memory and other things are in this panel here. I'll remove this panel first. So they're just a um, small Phillips head screw. Make sure you don't lose the screws, just put them to one side where you know. And there was four screws, one, two, three, four. Once they're all out, just slide the panel that way and then pull it up. There we go, there we've got the memory, fan, CPU, probably graphics card or something under there, and the wireless module. So the wireless module, you just receive, just unscrew, there's one screw there, unscrew that and then disconnect the two antennas. Memory, which is here. That one's not properly clipped in. Um, there's two little silver things on either side. Just pull them apart and the memory will pop up and then you can slide it out. Put it back in, same, the reverse of what you just did. So just slide it in and push it down until the two silver things on each side click in. There's also room for another memory module here. That's the same way to install it. The fan's here, so if you if it's clogged up with dust, you can use some compressed air just to blow that out. Now we'll take off this panel here. Now these screws are slightly different. Um, the screws for the hard drive are slightly longer. For this panel here, they're the shorter screws, so just take note of that. Okay, we've got a shorter screw and a longer screw for the hard drive panel. So slide that down, and there we go. The hard drive's held in by another two screws. And these are fatter black ones. So again, just put them to one side. Now there's a little sort of plastic, you probably can't see on the video because it's clear plastic. So you can just pull that out and up, and there we go. The hard drive itself is in a little silver caddy, and that's held in by another four screws. So one, two, three, four. So remove those screws. tightly on these ones. Just put, again put the screws to the side and know where each of the screws go when you put it back on. So for the hard drive here it's just the silver screws. <coughs> Excuse me. So once those screws are off, um, the hard drive itself no, it won't nicely come out because this is actually stuck down. As you can see here, that's stuck on the hard drive, so I won't actually get this out. But if you want, just unstick all the bits here, and then the actual caddy itself will come out. 
So here we go. Now the other only thing here is the optical drive. I believe there's three screws here. Um, so one. Yep, it's not pulling up by that one. Two. So I remove those three screws and the optical drive pulls out and there we go. So the model on that one, if you can see there, is just a Super Multi DVD Writer model GSA-T20N. So thank you for watching and I hope you got some good information out of this video. If so, please leave some comments below and I'll try to answer them when I can. Thank you and bye for now.